Rick Simpson did a did a bunch of videos right after that. And I'll take a minute because it's short. Fighting the damage caused by radiation, a video. After the horrible earthquake in Japan that's caused all this damage to many of the nuclear reactors that are operating in that country, radiation is now spreading worldwide. With the high levels of radiation being released into the atmosphere on a continuous basis, and it's still going on today. They're saying they're hoping to have it shut down in nine months, and we're downwind. Oh, it will have a devastating effect on the lives of most living creatures. Helen Caldicott, famous environmentalist, said it's the worst catastrophe in history, and there's nothing we can do about it. Hey, lady, give me some pot. She doesn't know about that yet, maybe. But once again, if used properly, high quality hemp oil, which is the best way to take it, and you don't have to smoke it, so don't bitch about your lungs, can provide a solution that will be a great help to mankind in alleviating this situation. For years, I've been telling the public that every man, woman, and child on this earth should be taking a small dose of this oil every day to maintain good health. Yes, with all the radiation that's now entering our atmosphere, and it ain't stopping, and it's going, and you're already scared, it's going to get worse, get worse. It is basically urgent that we now all start ingesting this oil as soon as possible to undo the damage this radiation will cause. Through my experience with the use of this oil, I found that there's nothing more effective or more harmless that can reduce the damage caused by radiation. Well, listen, you just got to search for marijuana and cancer to find out they've been lying about us for 40 years and they've known it kills cancer. So you've got friends who died of cancer, say thank you to the prohibitionists for not letting them have their anti-cancer med pot. I've seen patients that were suffering from cancer who were badly damaged by the effects of radiation treatments that were able to completely eliminate the damage in a short time. Go see his videos. Some who've come to me with had radiation treatments were burned so badly by its effects their skin looked like red leather. There are thousands of reasons why the medicinal use of cannabis plants should never have been restricted in the first place, but now with the menace that all this escaping radiation presents, we would have to be insane to turn our backs on the use of hemp extracts to help us deal with the situation. I truly feel that the misery the people of Japan are now going through, and that's the high level radiation, not even the low yet, and if, because that takes a while to develop and burn out your stop switches and start the tumors. And if nothing can be done to stop the radiation from escaping, they may lose their homeland in territory. Well, yeah. I mean, they have the executive eating the tomato saying it's safe, and right beside him, you see the engineer crying because he knows he's turned this country into a sanitary. An engineer crying, and nobody's taking that seriously? Yes, sir, cry, sir. Don't be fooled by the government double talk. We've got stories that the Canadian government and the U.S. government have been hushing up the seriousness of it all. Radiation is an invisible but dangerous threat to the well-being of us all, and only a complete fool would try to say otherwise. The wondrous medicinal effects of properly produced oil from the cannabis hemp plant are finally being recognized once more worldwide. Just on time. Well, no, I didn't get elected, so. This is just one more reason we must begin to start growing this plant on a grand scale. And it's time that we all told our governments that we have to have enough, or well, we've had enough of their nonsense. Our very lives and the lives of coming generations plus the well-being of many other species are at stake. I guess we should start giving hemp oil to the animals too, eh? Cows, why not? And it's now up to us to determine what future mankind's to have, best which is Rick Simpson. So, I'm scared shitless. I know that radiation affects the young and the old more than the others. You know, children, teenagers, they say it's from 10 to 100 times more susceptible to cancers from radiation than adults are. So, lucky us, it's only going to be the kids and the oldsters dying. Anyway, Harper's heroes, they'll start croaking, then people are going to point at him. And they're going to look at this printout from Health Canada when they decided to shut down the fallout detectors. I thought this was heaven sent to scare the willies out of Canadians to vote for my dream team. To let me reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to provide the funding, brand new poker chips, based on collateral of time promised labor as the collateral source. Time banks are spreading all around the world now. And mass-produced marijuana. So that's basically, and I said, these are the guys from all the parties I picked in my dream team. Spread the word, vote for them, and if they can sweep in, we'll have a by-election in three weeks, then you get John the Engineer. So if you look for the Engineer's dream team, it'll bring you to my site and my list of those videos I made during the campaign. So I wasn't even a candidate this time around. But I have people you could vote for everywhere who've supported interest-free banking at some point in the past. And most likely would support the legalization of marijuana. Simply because I'd say, 
Not for you. You don't need to take it. Just let me, please. Okay, so, anyway, on that note, before I get away from the politics, I just want to say that I know where I'm going to get mine. Do you know where you're going to get yours? So, you had a chance to vote for it. And now, when the catastrophe hits, if you ain't set up your lifelines and found your source, you're going to be missing the greatest cancer killer known right now on the internet, except for maybe apricot seeds. But anyway, different story. So that's the radiation, and that's the problem there. And of course, the Guelph Mercury, <laughs> uh, French TV, and uh, out in <laughs> BC, and everybody's calling, why aren't you running? And I get to say, how to treat team. So anyway, I made a bit of news. So, now, Dragon's Den. Uh, no, I'm going to do Gaddafi first. Because that you said. Gaddafi. Right after the election, I figure i got to do something because all my life, this guy's been one of my heroes. Ah, the monster, tyrant, bombing his own people. But they did statistics. And you'd expect 50-50, women, men, with indiscriminate bombing. And they found the mortality statistics were 97% men, 3% women. So he was shooting the guys with the guns. Anyway, the point is, he's a leader who didn't steal from his people. Right beside them in Egypt, you know, they got 2,000 a year GDP. In Libya, 15,000 a year. Rich country with oil, free education at home and abroad, free health care, no taxes, hey, oil money, interest-free loans for commerce, and every married couple gets $50,000 gift from the state to start. Yeah, you're sitting there saying you watch the rebels in the news. You notice they're always using the midget, and you can always tell it's a frame when they're using the midget reporters, when they're using the pygmy press. Every picture is down here of one or two guys with sky in the background, so you don't see it's empty behind them. Egypt, Yemen, Syria, the real places you see crowds. Libya, two, three guys. One guy with a gun, you know. Ever. It's always the pygmy press shooting like this full of sky. And I did a video and I said, hey, that could have been Hollywood. Okay, I got a hundred dollar bet, that's Hollywood, who can prove me wrong? And of course, all these pictures are all of sky, who, who can prove it's actually Libya? Anyway, he's one of my heroes, and let's face it, he made Obama, the US, Canada, he makes us look bad. Free education, free health care, unlike the US supported dictators who robbed and killed their people, he didn't. Had to get rid of him, bad example. So they framed them for the disco bombing in Germany in 83. You heard about that? Neat, they sneak a transmitter into Libya and they announce, congratulations on the disco bombing, boys. Reagan goes, see, there's proof he did it. He bombs Libya and kills his daughter. Miss Gaddafi. Lockerbie frame up. They framed him. And then they imposed UN sanctions until he admitted it. So he admitted it to lift the sanctions. Then they had to let the guy who was convicted out because the FBI frame fell apart and they had paid the witnesses to testify. You think they let out the terrorist bomber who blew up the Lockerbie airplane and killed 300 people? Oh, he's got cancer, we feel sad for him? Come on, give me a break. Their case fell apart and he had to drop his appeal for them to let him go. But you hear, still hear people talking about Gaddafi did Libya. He did it, he got framed. So anyway, here's a man who wrote a little book on why parliaments or unrepresented unrep democracies don't work. Because a small party controls when it wins all the losers. And that's a minority. So he came up with a direct democracy system in Libya. Everybody had to belong to a council in their neighborhood, and then they could all vote to go up higher and higher and higher to a central big one. Direct democracy he wanted to build. Well, I figured, wow, you got. Cameron and Obama and Sarkozy and Harper, and they all want to kill this man. Hey, 6,000 bombing sorties with planes. Oh, look, at, there's a terrorist behind a school. Whoop! Oh, look, there's a possible Gaddafi guy behind a hospital. Whoop! They've destroyed his infrastructure. The little heaven that Muammar built in Libya is probably now gone. 6,000 bombing sorties. Oh, how many people thought no fly had something to do with planes? They didn't know it was 6,000 bombing attacks. They tricked the UN. Even Russia and China didn't veto no fly zone. They didn't know it was going to be 6,000 bombs, or they did. 
And that's why I criticize Russia and China for letting NATO do to my hero what they're doing. So anyway, I did, I read his book on, to a DVD, and I simply uploaded it at my site. Gaddafi, HTM, no, WMV, Windows Media Viewer. Then I took the best in five different episodes and upped it to YouTube. So, Gaddafi, G-A-T-H-A-F-I. Why don't they spell his name right? Because they don't want you to read his own actual book. To find him. So anyway, here's a true Democrat, a true hero of his people. He even funded projects across Africa. So here's a man who's loved by the poor people on his continent, who provided his people with the highest standard of living, and the UN set one of the best human rights record on the, in the whole continent. And we call him a tyrant. I had a buddy of mine, bright computer programmer, just the other day, and he said, I think they should kill him. I said, whoa, he's a hero of mine. What, what, what did he ever do? He said, well, gee, I don't know, but you know, he got caught. A lot of people out there fell for the lies that have been, and what a, what a bunch of lies, you know, over time to allow us to sit there idle while Harper orders $30,000 million worth of new warplanes to go with the $13,000 million worth of new prisons to keep our kids in for smoking marijuana. And, uh, and elected again with a majority. So we can't get rid of them. And I don't know where you're going to get your marijuana to fight the cancers that are going to whack you, but they're on the way. So anyway, that is the, uh, the politics. And now I'm going to get it. Yeah. All right, I, but I need I need good ten John, minutes for the CBC. John, yeah. One, one thing you missed on Gaddafi. <coughs> the main reason he took him out. He ain't gone yet. They got oh, his oh, kids. Oh, the one they out. killed his. That's why they did the old Bin Laden story. Let me finish. The main reason they wanted to take him out. The dinar. The gold dinar. He's another one who does who wants to get off their banking system. Exactly. Though he hasn't he hasn't yet seen the efficiency of time banks yet. But he still wants to get onto the gold dinar, which is another alternate currency, even if it's not as good as time banking. Yes, one good reason. And not use the American dollar to trade. Yeah, but he's got an well, example of direct democracy. Time. You know, I mean, he's got an example of direct democracy that we don't. Uh, he's a bad example to the di real dictators of the world. <clears throat> so yeah, that's true. Okay, CB. Oh yeah. We are running late, so maybe if you could just. Uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna then I'll. I've never. Goldman Mail did a story, and they said, John Turmel lost his case against the CBC. This is the judge's decision, which I got by fax. I didn't even read it, and I was going to do it here. 24 pages, finally. All right, anyway, for no time, that's enough. I will go home, and I will read the CBC decision of the judge on the internet, and I will add it to this video and upload it tonight. So if you want to know what happened with the CBC, and uh, my suit against the dragons, then uh, I'll post it later tonight. I'll even, and I'll read the decision too.